a horrifying rendition of an automated man. The moment I received this dilapidated batch of plastic bricks, I was greatly disturbed. The miniature plastic figurines were ludicrously tedious and the printing they bore was extremely sparse. Not to mention that the Bionic Man had a build much like that of one of the plastic brick sets meant for those with lesser intellect. What with its gargantuan pieces and stiff limbs, this set was an abomination of Lego bricks if ever there was one. Play experience 1 out of 5. Build experience, 1 out of 5. Value for money, 3 out of 5. Alright, let's talk about it. The super villain of the LEGO community is back, and it's up to me to defeat him, because no one else will. That's right, he's made a review of Zane's powered-up Mech Evo! And I'm gonna go ahead and debunk that whole opening bit. <laughs> But uh, let's talk about the set. It's uh, 71761, uh, 95 pieces. It's a $10 set. It's it's nice. It's a six plus set and you get two minifigures. Um, not really sure what else. Uh, that's kind of all the information on the tin, ain't it? Um, so here's the thing. It's a fine set. The build is eh. When you put all the armor on, it's nice. The armor coming off and upgrading feature is is a uh, staple of this set and kind of of this theme. As like uh, right now, they've they've got little banners to collect. Uh, speaking of, you've got the banner to collect. That's fun. There's no stickers. It's all prints, uh, which is nice. And um, I think the minifigures are are relatively detailed enough. The back of Zane has two printings, and it doesn't need it. It's got gray and the bluish color and. Um, I think they could have gotten away if they didn't want to add the extra gray, but they did. So like, I, I'm counting like four prints on the face and body, I think. Banner has like four prints or three or something. Several print applications for each one. So that's fine. I, I think it's good. Snake, I'm not like super keen on, but his gun's cool. Shoots. Uh, I'm, he's growing on me. Zane's, Zane's fine. Comes with his hair in case you wanted to make him not bald or something. I think that's kind of a waste for him to only have one face print, but he does fine with it. He's got like his data port or something in the back. So I guess that's important to the character. And when you have his titanium flat top on, you can see it. Uh. The gargantuan limbs are, uh, they're stiff ish, but they're dynamic enough looking. And when you kind of are playing with it, you barely even notice that it's uh, not, not got more joints to it. Does it have real knees? It's got simulated knees. It's got simulated elbows. That's fine. The The powering up thing is kind of the worst part of it is that unfortunately, every time I remove the shoulder plates, they take the uh, two by three white plate with it. And that like makes the arm super unstable. But like, it's really not that big of a deal. Actually, the biggest like kind of cheap out and that I'm feeling is the fact that his sword is the mech sword at the same time you're expected to to put that teeny little sword in the mech's hand and it could go in either hand mind you and he does have the big spinny shuriken thing but that definitely feels more like a shield or at least like a, an auxiliary weapon not his main attacking weapon it doesn't doesn't feel right to me but like you know if i was a child i might not notice but as a, as an adult collector it feels uh it feels off just a little bit for me but whatever so i'm okay with that all right so in conclusion, minifigures are well enough detailed. They're not bad. There's overall giant limbs, but they're fine. It's it's the new system. That's like, it's like a bionicle or something. It's not unposable. <sighs> so yeah, this set is not an abomination of Lego bricks. Might not be the holy grail of Lego bricks, but for ten dollars, you can't do much better. Can't do worse. Could do worse. Could do worse. So that's what I'm going with. Seven out of ten. Okay, 20 seconds for the closing. Consider becoming a channel member. It really helps me out. We got Galcio, SPC Cheeseburger. I think he had a promotion. Crystal J, Pelego Ken, Dion B, Tyler S, God of Grunts. If uh, you want to subscribe, there's a button on the screen. There's also a button for an automatic video, and there's a video that I handpicked for you. Please support your local LEGO channel.